This is a six row repeat worked on a multiple of four. For my sample, I have 20 stitches and I'm using fingering weight yarn and US size seven needles. You might want to consider adding a border depending on how you plan to use the stitch because one of the rows does end with a slip slip knit and the edges are not very neat. And there's a little bit of curl to this as well. For row one, which is the right side, you're just going to knit all stitches. For row two, you're going to start by purling the first two stitches. And then the repeat is purl two together through the back loop. So you just take your right needle, turn the work a little bit, get your needle into the back of those next two stitches, and purl them together. Yarn over, and then purl two together through the front loops. So you purl two together through the back loop, yarn over, and then purl two together through the front loop. and you end the row with purl two. For row three, you start by knitting the first three stitches. And then the repeat is knit one, purl one into the yarn over from the previous row knit two. So here's your yarn over from the previous row. You want to make sure that you're making a knit stitch and a purl stitch into that yarn over before you slip it from the left needle. and you end the row with a knit stitch. For row four, you're going to purl all stitches. For row five, the repeat is knit two together, yarn over, slip slip knit.
And for row six, you start by purling the first stitch, and then the repeat is knit one, purl one, into the yarn over from the previous row, purl two. So just like up in row three, the, previous, uh, the yarn over from the previous row, you want to make sure you're making a knit stitch and a purl stitch before you drop it from the left needle. And you will end your last repeat with a purl, purl one. And you would just repeat those six rows for the pattern.